Imagine being in this location more than a hundred years ago when a bike riding Adventist literature evangelist comes on the scene. He has no idea that someday his visit to this small town would affect thousands of lives and reach around the world. I'm standing near Ugara, a farming town just over 200 miles west of Sydney, Australia. In the 1890s, a literature evangelist by the name of Philip Rieke pedalled his bicycle down this road. He met Thomas Kent, a farmer, who ended up buying this copy of The Great Controversy. Mr Kent became convinced about the Sabbath and started lending this book to his neighbouring farmers. He didn't know any Sabbath keepers, but wrote to the publishers of the book and they told him about a group meeting in Sydney. He went to visit and was baptised in the Ashfield Seventh-day Adventist Church in 1898. When Thomas returned home to Yagara, he gathered other families together and started a church in his home. Later they built this mud brick church that is no longer in use. Little did Philip Rieke know what would be the impact of selling that one book. The legacy of this small group of farmers on the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Australia and around the world has been profound. Their descendants have included more than a hundred denominational workers, pastors, educators, administrators and missionaries in the South Pacific and throughout the world. Churches have been planted and thousands have come into the church through their ministry. I just want to thank God that Philip Rieke, over a hundred years ago, got on his bike and rode out into the middle of nowhere and shared the lovely message of Jesus with a farmer, Tom Kent. You see, that farmer was my grandfather's grandfather. And so there's a small group of us. We're going to ride our bikes from Washington DC to St. Louis in tribute to Philip Rieke and his lovely ministry. And we're going to be sharing Adventist literature along the way. I put in months and years of hard labor with great controversy and I knew I was sowing seed that would one day bear fruit. Our rejoicing now will not compare with the joy we shall feel when we meet in the kingdom of God, those for whom we labored.